All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's Supreme Black Kai, and it's been quite some time since you've heard my voice. Quite some time. I have not made a video in almost a month, and yeah, I'm moving on from anime, like I said in the last video, into gaming and random topics, which today we have the latter. Ladder, latter, latter. All right, we have a girl here. All right, a woman. A woman who is living life. Just listen to this. How many, guys, how many guys have you been with? Like, probably like, well, I used to be a gangbang girl. Um, I used to do gangbang parties and I would get fucked by like 50 dudes a night. So I've probably been fucked by like 500 dudes, but they were mostly black. So first off, these women that go viral from these types of podcasts like No Jumper and I believe the Fresh and Fit one, they usually fall under these player builds. You got absolute bimbos. Uh, you see more of those on the latter podcast. And um, obviously, they're just stupid. And then you got uh, the hoes, all right? And that's just girls like, I don't know, the girl who slurped up seven basketball players in one night. But I think she really qualifies for the super hoe. And that's where this girl definitely falls into. Uh, kind of think of it like they're, they're hoes, but in the super form. I uh, think Goku and then Goku and Super Saiyan 1. It's really, really simple. Very basic human beings, which is okay. We need these people for society. I truly do believe without hoes, society will crumble because people, primarily men, but sometimes aggressive women with lack of self-control has no outlet for their unhealthy, unchecked urges. Uh, which, I mean, saying that out loud is kind of dark, but that's not the point. Anyways, this interview has been used up and passed around like this lady in most ways since it came out. But it's my first time actually watching the entire interview, and I haven't seen this topic really talked about. Everyone is talking about how she's a mega hoe and whatnot, and you know what? She owns it, so power to her. Like, there's a lot of commentary here in the interview that could lead to some golden moments for these YouTube channels like this. Would you say you're sexually promiscuous before that? Yeah, I was sexually promiscuous, but I was a Christian, so I only did anal. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 these are all true stories. I'm like not even capping. How many times did you have a dick in your ass before you had a dick in your vagina? I had like a few dicks in my ass. Not at the same time, but like maybe like one or two. And did but you I always give them poop dicks, so I just like <gasps> did. The idea that doing anal saves you when you're a Christian is hilarious to me now that I'm not as ignorant as I was biblically in the past. And what's even funnier is the lack of shame she has shitting on these men on purpose, uh, which is kind of my point. There's no point in making fun of her or shaming her because you can't truly shame the shameless. She's truly shameless. She proceeded to do the rest of the interview nude and then she brought up the process of getting gangbanged and how she went on dates to gangbanging houses. Like her date, her boyfriend would take her to these gangbang houses as a date. Uh, that's, I mean, I, I can't even say if that's like cuck or not. Is that, does that qualify? Because, I mean, she later clarified that the boyfriend uh, was into this as well. As in, like, I think he was gangbanging some of these girls. Because it was more than just her. It was like four girls. Anyways, my only true issue with her is how she says Martin Luther King died for her fetishes of black men. Uh, that's kind of rough. Like, that was just dumb as hell to say. And the black dude basically praising her comment makes me sad. But then again, that's not the point of this video. I guess I should finally get to the point and reveal why this video was being made. I mean, oh, I'm so great at making videos. All right. Is it sexist or insecure to not want to date women like this? Women who fall into the hoe or super hoe prototype. Because we know people who purposely try to date dumbass women. Those guys are usually labeled as manipulative. But is it really insecure to not want to date women like this? So I'm going to give my opinion, and you guys sound off in the comments. That's the point of this video. I'll say, hell no. I'm so tired of this dumb rhetoric that men who wouldn't date girls who have been ran through are insecure and immature. That's so stupid to me. Not everyone on this planet are hoes. Not every girl is ran through. To assume that is sexist itself. It's a preference. Now, to be fair, to be fair, if you're a man smashing hella women, you're also a hoe. So, you only going after these virgins or women with the not-so-extravagant sex lives like this girl is kind of dumb. I don't want to hear that uh, uh, a key that opens every door is a master key. Shut your dumb ass up, Master Splinter. A pencil sharpener that sharpens every pencil is a great sharpener. All right, both of those sayings are dumb, by the way, and I used to think so differently a few years ago. Both the sharpener and the key needs to be together. That's what's fair. 
both great tools that have been used and abused, but still works perfectly. All right, perfect match. Iron sharpens iron. You know the saying. So miss me with that dumbass key phrase of saying, you're a hoe either way. There's no real valid reason or need to have sex with a lot of people, unless that's just something that you want to do. All right? If that's something that you want to do, have fun. I'm not judging. You may not see those pearly gates, but I mean, obviously, you probably don't believe in it anyway. So why does that matter? Now, usually, women want men that has had a past like that for reasons that aren't the point here. I don't want to get into it, but women... Just because you like men that are hoes doesn't mean that we gotta like you being the same thing. I, for one, am not a hoe. I'm very selective and I think sex is sacred and I'm grown. I've had my experiences, but I was never promiscuous. I know that's the lame thing to say nowadays, but I shouldn't be shunned for wanting someone with similar taste or views or experiences like mine. And I shouldn't be called sexist for automatically singling hoes or past hoes out. But again, if you a hoe, as a man, and you only date in virgins, you're a weirdo. How are you going to prefer or want something that you aren't in the slightest? That's just so backwards to me. Women who are angry at the world because you're just not figuring out that your past matters to men, you have no right to get mad unless it's at the men dubbing you, even though you're both for anybody. I know there are double standards, and I don't agree with any of them, but that's for another topic for, you know, another day, you know what I'm saying? I, I got a lot of sayings today. I got a lot of sayings today. All I'm saying, I'm saying that way too much, saying, 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 all I'm saying is that I and a lot of other dudes don't want these gangbang girls. But if you're one of those dudes that was in those gangbangs and orgies, you are a joke. If you don't want a girl like her, because it's just you. I guess some people can't stand to look in the mirror, can't stand their own reflection. I don't know. Maybe that's a little bit too deep. Maybe I'm going a little bit too far. <laughs> Maybe it's not that deep. But you guys get the drift. You guys get what I'm saying. Uh, anyways, the video I got the clips from are in the bio, and it was kind of funny. She fetishizes black guys, and most of those gangbangs have mostly black guys. So you know her shit is just ravaged. Go check it out. And speaking of out, I'm out. Sub, share, and like. Pass.